Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to filter a table and bring specific columns from that table. I'm gonna do that with the filter function and also with the advanced filter. If you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe and let's get started. Here we have our table. First, I'm gonna show you how to filter the information bringing all the columns included in that table. If you want to learn more about the filter function, I'm gonna leave the link in here so you can check my previous tutorial on how this formula works and some specific tips and tricks that you need to know about it. Here, I'm gonna start by saying equals filter, press tab or double click there. Uh, the, array, the array is gonna be my table. You can see this um, black row just here Click there and it's going to select the table, not the titles, only the content of that table. That's what I want. So I say comma. It must include what, what is the criteria that I want my filters to follow. I want two criteria to meet. I'm going to say the first will be the province. The province will equal any information that I have here in A1. Close parenthesis for the first criteria, and I'm gonna press asterisk. So this means that it needs to meet both criteria that I'm gonna select. So if I if I have a plus, it will be one criteria or the other. But in this case, the asterisk will say it has to meet both criteria. Also, the sales for let's say for 2019 need to be higher or equal to the amount that I have in K1. Close parenthesis. And in this formula, it says if empty, I don't need to provide anything there. As you can see, is a square brackets, which means it's optional uh, to provide that info. So I'm just gonna close my parentheses and press enter. So this is the function that I just enter. My filter, my array, my criteria, and that's all that I need. Here I have three lines meeting this criteria. Right, let's say if I change the sales to 50,000, then I have more items that meet the sales in 2019, higher or equal to $50,000. Now, let's bring only specific columns using the filter function. Let me copy the function that I just showed you. So just after the equal, select the whole thing, Control C, and let's say, let's start by equal filter. So we are gonna filter the filter, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So this is gonna be my array. Control V to copy the function that I just prepared. Comma, what does this need to include or must include? Well, it must include just the specific columns, these four columns. And by doing that, I will use an array to help me to bring only the columns that meet the criteria that I want. So I'm gonna open the curly brackets or curly braces. I will say the store, store, I want that column, that's a one, comma. The second column is province, I don't want that, that will be a zero, comma. I want the city, that will be a one, comma. I want 2018, that will be a one, comma. I don't want 2019, zero, comma. And I also want 2020, that will be a one. And I will close my curly parentheses or curly bra braces. By doing this, I'm indicating through the array that the ones are the ones meeting the criteria, the zero or the false is not meeting the criteria that I require. The array knows that I'm looking for the columns because I am providing commas. If I want rows, I could be providing semicolons. In this case, I need columns for the reason I'm separating these items through a comma. Okay, that will be it for that uh, part of the formula they include. I don't need to provide anything if empty or if the information is not found. I don't want to provide anything, I don't need it. I close the parentheses and I press enter. And here we have the same lines, but only bringing four columns, not all of them. So I'm gonna move the, for the function here so you can see it better. So this is how our function ends by selecting only specific columns. And here is our function bringing all the columns. Okay, so this is using the filter function. The next will be the advanced filter. 
So here we have, again, our table. I can go anywhere inside there, to go to table design and see the name of the table. It says it's advanced filter. Let's go here and let's go to data, advanced. And here we need to provide some information. The list range, the list range would be the table. So you, we need to be very careful because if we select the table through the black row that you can see here, just on the side of the table, if we select that, we are missing the titles. For the advanced filter, it's very important to bring the titles of each column. If we don't provide that information, the filter is not gonna work. So make sure that you select the whole table. So here, even you can see that in um, square brackets, we have all. That means that the whole table has been selected, including the titles. Now, the criteria that I want to bring here will be these two items. Copy two, I'm gonna copy just right here, and I need to select all the columns that I want to bring. So I select that and I say, okay, now you can see we have all the lines that have the province of Alberta and it have sales in 2019 higher or equal to 50,000. Now the thing here is that if something changes on the criteria, let's say let's change it now to BC, nothing happened on the table. You have to go again to the advanced filter and just make sure that all the information is still correct. Press OK and then the information is updated. So the series belong to BC and the sales are higher or equal to 50,000 in 2019. So just keep that in mind. It's not as dynamic as the filter function is. I hope you found this information helpful. If you like it, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also share with anybody you believe can benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Bye-bye.